grip tip for today has to do with kind of how to structure training just in general, especially during the early season here, so that your body responds to the work that you're doing. One of the best ways to do that is to vary the kind of training that you're doing day to day. So what I love to do was to have a lot of my early midweek workouts be, you know, pretty short. I'd mix them up. I definitely would do strength work. And then on the weekends, I would do longer workouts, long bikes, long runs especially, that were significantly longer than I was doing during the week so that my body kind of like goes, whoa, what, what's this? What's this? And it really helps your body as you vary your workout diet and mix it up. It, it helps your body to continue to respond with a fitness gain response. And that's what we're after, isn't it? A lot of people kind of tend to make things monotonous in the sense that one day looks kind of like the next, looks kind of like the next, one week looks like the next, looks like the next, look like, looks like the next. And it's very easy to plateau and be hard to make that jump up after that. So as you can think about it, th look at your workouts, look at your training. Are you varying things in a sensible way so that your body's continually getting something a little bit different? Kind of keep it guessing. You know, you, your body's just like your brain. It's like it, get, it gets bored. And um, I like to mix things up. So again, I would do kind of shorter stuff during the week, throw in a little bit of speed work even. And then on the weekends, definitely throw in those longer workouts. Even if you're doing a sprint or Olympic distance race, longer workouts are great for building that endurance engine that you need as a triathlete. Think about it, plan it, talk to your coach about it then go out and execute.